Hey guys, Lincoln here from BoAcademy.org. Today I want to cover SPACs. You know, special purpose acquisition companies. They are very popular right now and today they are making big moves on the market as their merger dates near. So you know I love SPACs. We've covered SPACs on this channel a whole lot. I've talked about how SPACs are a great way for retail investors who are in the know to get in early on investments before other retail investors find out about the private companies that are going public. I've covered that in a previous video in great depth. So if you haven't seen that yet, go ahead and check it out because it's very important that you understand why SPACs are a huge deal for retail investors. They give us the opportunity to act like private investors. That is something special that we haven't been afforded in the past. But now that SPACs are becoming more popular, they are a great way for us retail investors to act like private institutional investors and getting early to benefit from the appreciation of the value of these stocks as they go up before the merger and then into their actual IPOs, right? Because the SPACs take private companies public by first going through an IPO of their own to raise funds. They put those funds in a trust fund and then they come to us on the public markets and say, hey, Retail investors, look at what we got. This is your chance to get in early and invest before we merge with this private company and take them public. So you get a chance to participate before the actual IPO of the private company. That is something special. And again, I've covered exactly why and how all of this works in two videos from a month ago. They're both linked in this video and they're very important for you to check out. So SPACs have been getting more and more popular over the years. 2019 was a record year and then 2020 came in and blew out 2019, right? 2020 has been a big year for SPAC IPOs. We've seen DraftKings, we've seen Nikola Motors, and now we're going to see another batch of great private companies that are going to go public via these reverse mergers. So if you've been following along for the last few months, you will know that it's been a long road and we've all been waiting for these SPACs to complete their mergers. And now that they're getting closer and closer, some of them are supposed to complete their mergers in Q3, which ends at the end of this month, September. But a few of them have to move their mergers to Q4. Some of them plan to complete their mergers in the early Q4 and the others in the middle or the end of Q4. We don't know exactly what the dates are for these mergers to close, but they are coming in fast and the hype is coming along with them. Today we will talk about five of these SPACs that are very popular and take a look at their surge in stock prices and the private companies that they plan to take public and why they are such attractive deals. As you may know if you watched my video covering my $65,000 growth portfolio, I'm invested in four of these SPACs but I'm watching the fifth to see if it's something that I'm interested in investing in. At this moment, I'm not sold on the fifth SPAC, but it seems to be one of the more popular SPACs in this batch. So it's definitely worth covering. Okay, let's jump in. Let's walk through these SPACs from smallest to largest by market cap. First up, Netfin acquisition, NFIN, N-F-I-N. So Netfin is still slugging along around its baseline at about $10.75 per share. They have a high of about $11.38. There hasn't been much movement on this SPAC. I'm not sure why because it's such a good opportunity from what I've seen. And I'm just confused about why people aren't investing more in this company. Netfin is going to acquire Triterras. Triterras is a leading fintech company that provides trade financing for small and medium sized businesses to complete their global commercial trades. Their total addressable market is currently $1.5 trillion. It's a huge market and it's very underserved when it comes to technology. They're still doing things like faxes and dealing with banks that are super slow and frequently reject small and medium sized businesses when they go to apply for financing. So Triterras is filling a huge gap and they are leading the market. So again, I'm not sure why this SPAC hasn't caught on, but I'm invested and I'm holding on. Netfin currently has a market cap of $275 million. I believe that's way undervalued because of the nature of SPACs, but the SPAC is up 4% in the last month and it's doing better than nothing, right? So either way, I'm investing over $5,000 for 520 shares at an average cost of $10.58. I'm excited about Triterras, but I'm a little concerned about why it hasn't caught on yet. Is there something I'm missing? I don't get it. Right, this company seems great, the tech seems great, it has great revenues, the market's huge, but it hasn't moved very far above its baseline price, 
and I'm not sure when it's going to start getting some more price movement as the merger day closes in. I'm holding on to Netfin and Triterras because this makes sense to me. I'm not sure why it hasn't caught up yet. But anyway, let's move on to the next SPAC. Next up, my favorite SPAC by far, FMCI Tattoo Chef. So September has come to a great start for FMCI Tattoo Chef as the merger closes in and we expect the merger to close in early October. When FMCI takes Tattoo Chef public, Tattoo Chef will be the second pure play plant-based foods company on the US stock market. That's a huge deal because they're following in Beyond Meat's footsteps and they have even more revenue than Beyond Meat did when it IPO'd last year. And I am heavily invested in Beyond Meat and I'm a big believer in this whole movement. So I'm very excited for FMCI Tattoo Chef. Tattoo Chef produces great tasting, plant-based frozen foods for those people who don't want to cook their own meals and want to eat healthy. Tattoo Chef sells its products via white label and their own brand label, Tattoo Chef, of course. So when this merger between FMCI and Tattoo Chef closes in early October, Tattoo Chef will be listed as TTCF. FMCI currently has a market cap of $632 million. And today it reaches all time high stock price of $26.95. That is a huge deal because it's been trading sideways for months now. But now that the merger is closing in, investors are getting more excited about Tattoo Chef and FMCI and it continues to go up. I did a video last week on how Tattoo Chef finally crossed $22. But that same day, right as I finished that recording, Tattoo Chef exceeded $23 per share. And now it's almost at $27 per share. And when that merger completes, it's going to continue to grow because Tattoo Chef is a great business with great revenue projections. So I have a price target of over $100 for Tattoo Chef in the next one to two years. Again, I'm a long-term investor and I practice the bull mentality because that's how I plan to build my wealth. The bull mentality is that we know what we invest in. We understand what we invest in. We believe in what we invest in and we hold for the long term because that's how we give ourselves the best chance of success on the stock market. And because I believe in Tattoo Chef, I understand it and I plan to hold for the long term. I am super excited for all of this price movement that is happening this month. Tattoo Chef is finally getting all the respect that it deserves. Put some respect on its name. Right, Tattoo Chef is going to be a great company and I'm going to be right there to benefit from the appreciation of the value of this asset and build my wealth through this company. So that was a whole lot of me praising Tattoo Chef, but I'm not here to pump the stock. I'm just enthusiastic about the company, but because it's not about me, it's about the numbers. Let's look at those numbers. FMCI stock was up 7% today. It's up 63% over the last month, right? I'm not the only one who's enthusiastic about this company. I and many other investors believe it's going to be one of the better SPACs after its merger. I'm investing over $25,000 for 1,000 shares of this company at an average cost of $14.50. I am up over 72% on my position. That's over $10,000. And the merger hasn't even closed yet. We still have a month to go. Okay, enough about Tattoo Chef and FMCI. Let's move on to the next SPAC. Next up is LCA, Lancadia Holdings 2. They are going to take Golden Nugget public. Golden Nugget is a leader in the online gaming space. You know, online gambling, they call it gaming, but it's gambling, so let's call it what it is. LCA is very popular in the SPAC space, and it has a market cap of over $716 million. Today, LCA stock price reached a new high of $18.89 per share. That's a big deal because the merger is closing in and people are getting more and more excited about the prospects of this company. The stock was up 9% today and 42% on the month. This next batch of SPACs are having their moment. So as you may know, I'm investing over $7,000 for 400 shares of this company at $13.90 per share. Next up, Graph. Graph is taking Velodyne public. Velodyne is a leader in the lighter technology space. You know the future of driving is self-driving cars. We won't have to drive and Velodyne is enabling that great future. They provide the technology that enables vehicles to detect objects in their environment as they drive. So anything from cars, 
planes, Postmates delivery robots that crawl on the streets of cities, right? Velodyne enables all of that. And its LiDAR technology is award winning. Graph's current market cap is $727 million. And today the stock reached a new record high of $31.76 per share. The stock is up 2% today. It's not a huge deal, but the stock is up 83% on the month. Now that is a big deal. Again, the hype is coming in for these SPACs. If you can't tell by now, I'm an investor in Graph Velodyne. I'm investing over $15,000 for 500 shares of this company at an average cost of $21.73. And the merger between Graph and Velodyne is expected to close in September of 2020. That's this month. That's why Velodyne is up so much this month. People are excited about Velodyne and more news continues to come out about how great this company is and what the prospects are for its future. Of course, we have Tesla who is using a whole different technology, computer vision, because Elon believes that computer vision is better than lighter technology. I'm investing in both Graph Velodyne and Tesla. So either way, I'm going to win. I believe in both technologies. I believe that they can coexist and either way, I'll win. Okay, we made it through the SPACs that I'm investing in. The last SPAC that we have to cover tonight is Tortoise Acquisition Corp. They are taking Helion public. And Helion is another zero emissions truck producer, like Nikola Motors. But they have figured out a way to retrofit electric batteries onto existing trucks to give them a hybrid energy source. So their customers will not have to buy a whole new truck to use their zero emissions technology. Helion also has plans to produce a fully electric truck. So I think that is a pretty cool company. I'm just not sure it's going to work. So I'd rather stick with Tesla because the opportunity cost of not investing in Tesla in favor of this company that is evidently not as ambitious as Tesla is just way too high. So for now, I'm sticking with Tesla. And if I wanted to invest in a competitor of Tesla, I would probably choose Nikola over this Helion company. But people love Helion. It's doing very well right now. It's the biggest spec by far on his list tonight. And its merger date is expected to be September 28th of this year, right? So this month, it's almost here. Shell, S-H-L-L, is a ticker symbol for Tortoise Acquisition Corp. And the SPAC currently has a market cap of over $1.5 billion. That more than doubles the next biggest market cap on this list of $727 million. So obviously, this is a very big SPAC. The stock price is sitting comfortably around $50 per share with a high of $58.66. That's by far the greatest on the list tonight. And if that doesn't excite you enough, the SPAC is up over 160% on the month. This is the most anticipated SPAC in this batch. And again, the expected merger date is September 28th of this year, this month, in a few weeks. So keep an eye out for that. It's definitely worth watching. And if you're interested, now might be the time to invest. Okay, guys, we made it to the end. Those are the four SPACs I'm invested in and the one that I'm watching because other investors like you and my friends have told me to check it out. So maybe I'll invest in it, I'm not sure. I don't know about Helion yet, but I'm watching closely. So as I said at the start of this video, I believe that SPACs are a huge deal for retail investors and I have covered that in multiple videos. So check them out on this channel on bowacademy.org. SPACs are having a big moment right now as the next batch of SPACs prepare to close their mergers. And I plan to hold all of my SPACs through the merger and for the long term because I always practice the bull mentality when I invest. The bull mentality is that we know what we invest in. We understand what we invest in. We believe in what we invest in and we hold for the long term because that's how we build wealth in this country. That's how we give ourselves the best chance of success on the stock market. No matter what we're investing in, it could be stocks, it could be real estate, it could be bonds. We invest and we hold for the long term to benefit from the appreciation of the value of our assets. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know the next time I publish a new video. And comment below any thoughts you have on these SPACs and if you would like me to cover any of these SPACs in the future in greater detail, let me know in the comments below. And now that you know which SPACs I'm invested in, I would love to see which SPACs you're invested in. So let me know below which SPACs you're invested in 
how many shares you have, and what your price targets are so that we can discuss it in the comments below. I'm Lincoln with BowAcademy.org. Thank you again and have a great day.